Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about the new moon and I'm gonna start by talking about a little bit what is new moon energy, okay? So that's when the moon is in its uh, dark phase. In other words, you can sometimes see it like a little outline of it or it's like a thin little crescent. That's when it starts going towards the full stage anyway. You don't really see the moon, but it can bring out shadows. Okay, like what are your shadows? Because it's not always evil or negative. I know we're in Halloween season, but not everything is evil or negative. Sometimes it's just about like, get rid of that boyfriend because he's like a corpse and you don't need him or your relationship or your job. You know, it's like, oh, it's starting to sink like a corpse, right? It can be stuff like that. But what a new moon is really good for is planting seeds, okay? Now that might seem really odd coming at this time of year because things are dying. There's a lot of molds in the air. There's a lot of pollen. You know, some of the plants are making their last ditch effort to, you know, send out seeds and pollens and things like that. You have a lot of things blowing around and storms about did everyone get their tomatoes off the vine before it frosts you have your annual rotting tomato festival thanks dad that's what my dad used to call it all the time he'd be like it's time for our annual rotting tomato festival regardless it is partly ending but in new moon energy you can use this energy like the loamy soil of the earth, black and velvety and rich and, you know, yeah, it's underneath, but growth happens in the dark. If you've ever done any gardening, you will know what do you do. You protect certain parts of the plants, you trim others so that the focus could be on what needs to grow in the next season. Now, what can that growth be for you? It might be personal growth. It may be your immune system strengthening it for the winter season, which by the way, I'm going to have a group class for that too. It can be things like planting the seeds for what you want to buy in the spring when the housing market goes. Okay. It can be other things like your education. The point being that it should be for positive things in your life. It could be what your end game really is. When you're young, you tend to think of these things in terms of like your future, like what you're going through. And then a lot of people hit middle age, they have a midlife crisis. They start fishing around for things to give their life meaning. No, your soul gives your life meaning. If you're bored, you're detaching from something. If you are, you know, going through th things, okay, I talk to a lot of people, they can't even define it. They just say, well, I'm going through something. Oh, my husband's going through something. Oh, my kid is going through something. They're going through ascension. Everyone is going through some version of ascension. Here's where the new moon also comes in very handy with these energies. What have you set on the side burner that you would like to do? Okay, what? Because yeah, Everything's a little more open now. It is different. Some of it's better. Some of it hasn't changed. Let me tell you, if I were the queen, some things certainly would be different. <laughs> Anyways, what are the things that you are looking for? Okay. What are the things that enhance your life, improve yourself, improve your relationships? Now, when it comes to the new moon and the energies and the other influences on it, you know, it's like you're standing here and you have these things and some of these things are waves propelling you and some are maybe holding you, making you pause, okay? You still have to do what William Shakespeare said, know thyself, to thine own self be true. You can't be someone you're not. You can't really have a pretense anymore your soul doesn't want that who are you 
What do you want? Some people are finding out on their jobs. They're finding out, you know, they're like, hey, I really, you know, I thought I wanted this degree. Now I'm on the job and I can't really deal with plotting charts and graphs all day long. But that's what you were hired for. No, that actually ha is happening at my cousin's job. The girl is quitting a $110,000 a year job, which I know people who would like die to have that kind of job. And she doesn't want it. She can't handle it. She's going back. She's going back to reconfigure. Which brings me to a point. How much of this ascension is actually helping you to focus where your talents really are needed and the highest and best use of you and how much of it is being perceived that it's hindering you, okay? Because to a person going through it, they can feel like they're just blocked. You know, something like writer, writer's block. They're blocked, they don't know what to do, they get angry, they get triggered, okay? We have to stop these extremes. People are using it as an excuse by now, okay? You were triggered 10 years ago. Yeah, you were triggered. By now, you got to start knowing better because it's enough of the drama already. Enough of the drama. It's time for real action. It's time to hunker down, roll up your sleeves, and really do this and utilize the energy for what it can be best utilized for. New moon, okay? New moon, women in home and for your benefit. So how do you do this? Okay. Sometimes you have to figure out very first, are you an extrovert or an introvert? I know myself that I'm an extrovert, believe it or not, my ascension and my journey has toned down some of those extrovert qualities and refined them. Some of my introvert qualities have improved where I'm actually, you know, sometimes wanting my own company. Okay, I'm not always looking out for someone to do something with, right? I do quiet activities. One of the things I love to do, and people who know me know this about me, I love to cook. I love new ingredients. I'll get in the car and just go get a new ingredient, okay? For other people, okay, that's my life. Maybe in your life, it's trying to seek out where is it will it, where you will live or who should you really focus on? You know, should you focus on the person who ghosted you? No, 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 and no. Why the hell would you do that? Focus on you, okay? Focus on you. Stop looking at the closed door. Stop chasing a corpse. How many times do you need to learn bad lessons? That's what you need to ask yourself. Do I need to learn this lesson one more time? Some of us do learn the hard way. I agree. That used to be me. Now I'm different. Now I take a pause. And that's what I'm going to suggest to you. Pause, pause, hold, hold, pump the brakes, okay? And feel, feel, refeel if you need to. Play it back, refeel, okay? Take no actions. That's not being indecisive. That's deciding to not react. That's something you can do, okay? It's time for us to get rid of this extremes. Let me put it a better way to you. It's time for you to get away from extreme landia, where there's a lot of drama and there's whole arenas of gladiatorial versions of this is better than that. Okay, let's just focus on your life, shall we? So if you're interested, I am running an event for the new moon. The link is below. Check it out. And if not, check out the little Quizlet that I have uh, for you. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.